All right. So our first word problem. Everybody should be paying attention. You shouldn't have anything in your hands. Books should be put away. Markers, pens, pencils, papers, anything should be put away. You have your water bottle out and you need to be looking at the board. I'm not doing this for my health. I'm doing this for you guys. Mr. Gomez is taking his students to the zoo. The tickets cost $212. He also spent $115 on lunch. If he brought $400 with him, how much money does he have left over? So there's another key phrase here. Let's look for it. Mr. Gomez is taking his students to the zoo. The students tickets cost $212. He also spent $115 on lunch. This word also, he also spent $115 on lunch. Could I say, and he spent $115 on lunch? Yes, I could. So when I see the word and, what are we gonna do? When I see the word and, are we putting together or taking apart? Add. Add, we're putting together. Okay, so our first step is going to be add, but we have another key phrase, left over. What does left over mean we're going to do, Gianna? Subtract. Subtract. So first step, add. Second step, subtract. All right, so first step is to add, and we're adding these two numbers because it's this also this. So the same thing as saying this and this, which is adding. So 212 plus 115. All right, we start in our ones. Two plus five is, answer, seven. Then we go to our tens. One plus one, two. two. And then we go to our hundreds. Two plus one, three. three. So that's $327. That is not the answer, is it? That is how much Mr. Gomez spent total. So now we're ready for step two, which was to do what? Subtract. Subtract. So can I do 327 minus 400? No. No, because 400 is a bigger number. When we subtract, we got to put that bigger number first. So it's going to be $400. Sure. Minus $327. All right, so now we start in the ones. Zero, take away seven. Can I do that? No. No. Is there more on the floor? No. Yes. So when there's more on the floor, we got to go next door and get 10 more slash slash. But wait a minute. Can I take 10 from this zero? No. I have zero tens here. I can't take a 10. So what do I need to do? One more slash so we're going to start taking from the four four minus one carter three. Three. three all right and we're going to give 10 to this zero 10 plus zero fatty 10. ten. now we can borrow from that so now we have to take out one from the ten what's ten minus one gianna nine and we're going to give 10 to the zero again what's 10 plus zero 10. 10. Whew, that was a lot of work now we're ready to actually solve the problem 
So 10 minus seven plus three, nine minus two plus, again, seven. better, three minus three. Zero. Zero, and I can just write this as 73. So my question was, how much money does Mr. Gomez have left over? Give me a sentence. Uh, June. Mr. Gomez has $73 left over. Good sentence. Mr. Gomez has $73 left over. All right, next. Make sure you're paying attention, Shane. Make sure you're paying attention. At a school concert, the school raised 1,728 in ticket sales. They also sold, so also, what does that mean? Add. Add. $435 in programs. If the programs cost $123 for the school to make, how much money did they raise in the end? So when we see that they paid, so they paid this. So if they paid $123 and they had, let's say they had $200 and they paid $123, Carter, you can go after Rose, Gage, you can go after Carter. And they paid 123. What would I have to do to find out the difference? What do we do when we hear the word difference? I have to find out the difference between this first answer and this number right here, Piper, subtract. subtract. So over here, we're going to, because they spent the money, it's the same as taking away. So we're gonna subtract. Now, how much money did they raise in the end? So that means we've got to do our step one, add, and our step two, subtract. So let's do step one. What two numbers am I going to add? What two numbers am I going to add, Gage? The two numbers that we're gonna add is we're gonna add $135 and then we're gonna add $123. No. What numbers am I going to add, Bo? Um, 123 and, um, no, mm -mm, nope. Uh, what numbers am I going to add, Patty? 1,728 and 435. Thank you. So our first step was to add. So we did that with our first two numbers. All right, eight, Shane, watch. Eight plus five. Show me, I mean, you can't show me on your fingers. What's eight plus five, everyone? 13. 13, thank you. You write down the three and what do I do with the one from 13, Carter? Carry it. Carry it. All right, now I've got two plus three, show me on your fingers. Five, show me on your fingers, one more. You need both hands, yep, it would be six. All right, seven plus four. Eleven. Eleven, what do I do with the one that goes in the tens Carry place? The Carry it. And then I have one plus one. Two. Two. I'll put my comma there because you put your comma after every three place values. Oh. Now, what was our step two? Subtract. Subtract. So we take this number, that's how much money they made, and we've got to take out how much money they spent to see how much their profit was. Because if I spend $10 on cupcakes and making cupcakes and I make 10 cupcakes and I only charge a dollar for each cupcake, I'm only gonna 
make $10. So my profit would be zero because I spent $10 to make $10. It just evens out. So it's the same with this. This is profit. This is how much they spent to be able to make this money. So we have to take this out. All right, starting in the ones. Three minus three, show me with your hands. Three minus three, show me with your hands. Zero. All right, six minus two, show me on your hands. Four, good. One minus one, show me. Good. My comma there, and two minus nothing. Two, good. So our answer is $2,040. So how much money did they raise in the end? The school, who can finish it? Lucy? The school raised $2,040. And then it says here, up here, it says in the end. So I'm just going to write that as well. Bo, please stop making noise with your stool. The school made or raised $2,040 in the end. All right. At a bake sale, Sam raised $34 on Monday and $52 on Tuesday. Jackson raised $41 on Monday and $69 on Tuesday. How much more money did Jackson raise than Sam? So Sam raised $34 and $52. Our first step is going to be to add or subtract. Yes because it says and, and means add. Jackson raised $41 on Monday and $69. What's step two gonna be? Subtract. Let me reread that. Jackson raised $41 on Monday and $69 on Tuesday. Add. add. And then number three, third step. So this one has three steps. Now, how much more? That's a three word key phrase. When we have a, Caitlin, sit up. When we have a three word key phrase, what do we do? Subtract. Subtract. So step one is to add, step two is to add, and step three is to subtract. So number one, we're adding Sam's money. So Sam raised how much on Monday? 34. 34. And how much on Tuesday? $52. So it'll be 52 plus 34. And this is going to be Sam. See how I label things while I'm doing my word problem? It helps keep me organized. So if I have to go back and use that information again, I can find it easily. All right. Starting in our one, Shane. What are you doing? Do you know how to do this? Do you know how to do this that we're doing? You do? No, you don't, Shane. Stop lying. You don't know how to do this, Shane. What's 52 plus 34? What's my first step? What's the first thing I'm going to do? 52 plus 34. First thing I'm going to do. Add. Add what? So should you be paying attention or drawing on your desk? Because mm -hmm. you don't know how to do this. So I need you to pay attention so you can learn. I don't, I don't know what made you think drawing on your desk with your Expo marker was gonna be a good idea right now. All right, so Shane. Our first step, look at the board and fix your mask. Our first step, Shane, no, not right now, is two plus 
four. So we can hold up four fingers and put one, two, Shane, participate. Put one, two, up. Shane, how many fingers? Six. Six, so our first answer is six. Now we go to the tens. Five plus three. Good, William, it's eight. So Sam spent $86. Are we done? No. no. Let's figure out what Jackson. That wasn't made. Yes, it is. All right, so what numbers are we gonna add together to figure out what Jackson raised? So Jackson raised $41 on Monday and $69 on Tuesday. Who can give me the number sentence for Jackson? Um, Jim. 41 plus 69 equals right. Perfect. All right. Shane, look up at the board. I want you to say it as I point to it. One, two, nine. One plus nine. So put up nine fingers. Add one. What's the answer, Shane? Ten. 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 So what do I do? Do I write ten right here? No. What do I do, Shane? Which number should I put right here? No. Mm -hmm. And what do I do with my one? Where do I put the one? You mean up here? Like up here? In the, oh, okay, in the tens place? Yes. All right, so now we do, Shane, say it. Four plus six. What's four plus six? Six fingers up. Add four. One more. I knew it. Ten. Ten plus one. Eleven. Eleven. So I put, and since we don't have a hundreds place, I can just write the number eleven. So Jackson made one hundred ten dollars. So how who who made more money? Jackson. Jackson made more money, but. Is that what it's asking us? No. no, the question is how much more money did Jackson raise than Sam? So what am I gonna have to do for my third step, Gianna? Subtract. Subtract, give me the number sentence. Go ahead, Gianna. 110 minus 86. Okay, good. All right, we start in the ones. So it's zero minus six. Shane, Two. if I have zero, I have no race cars. I don't have any. Can I give you six? No. So there's more on the floor. We got to and get good. All right, we're going to take one away from the one. So one minus one is And then we give 10 to the zero, 10 plus zero. Yeah, those are pretty simple. So now we can do 10 minus six. So hold up 10 fingers, put down six. What's the answer, Shane? Four. Four, good. All right, zero minus eight. If William, if I have zero dinosaur toys, can I give you eight of them? No. No, I can't. This is more on the floor. So we got to go to the next door and get ten more splash, splash. All right. So now we take one from the one. One minus one. Zero. Zero. And we give that ten that we just took to the zero. So again, ten plus zero. Now we can subtract our tens place. Say this. 10 minus 80 equals Finish eight it. Place. Two feet. Two. And then zero minus nothing <laughs> is nothing. So you could put a zero there or you could just leave it blank. So the answer to this problem is $24. 
The question is, how much more money did Jackson raise than Sam? So that's our answer, $24. Who can give me a nice sentence? Patty? Sam has three. No. So who, who had more? I mean, I mean, Jackson yep. had 24. I mean, Sam had 24 more. So I have my dollar sign, so I don't have to write dollars. So Jackson had 24 more dollars than Sam. But we're gonna do one more together and then I'm gonna have you all take your whiteboards out and work on one by yourself. The school librarian had 70 nonfiction books. She bought 19 more. What are we gonna do when we see more? Add. She donates eight books to the school sale. If you donate something, you're getting rid of it. Is that adding or subtracting? She received some books as gifts. So it's just some, some books. We don't know how many. If she now has 97 books, how many books did she receive as gifts? So now, when we see that now, we usually know a total, usually. You have to use your, your schema to figure that out. But usually if you see like, now Bobby has this much, it usually is the total. All right, so in a, in a number bond, where does our total go? In the mama book. So 97. She has 97 books in the end. So we know that she, it says 70 nonfiction books and she bought 19 more. So what are we going to do with the numbers 70, 70 and 19? It says more, more. Add. Add. Thank you, Piper. Nine plus zero, show me on your fingers. It's nine. All right, and then seven plus one equals eight. All right, so she has 89 books, but then she donates eight of them. So we already said that that meant we were going to Okay, so 89 minus 8 equals, so 9 minus 8 equals 8 do nothing, 8 do nothing, 8. So we did step one, we did step two, now we got to write a sentence. How many books does she receive as gifts? So the school librarian Gage. Has 81 books now. Okay. All right, go ahead and pull out your whiteboard and your marker. You can get your marker. My All right, y'all's problem. I'm going to read it and mark it up with you. Xavier had 134 text messages on his phone. He received 64 
new text messages on Monday. So if he gets some new text messages, is he getting more or less? More. more. So is he going to add or subtract? Add. Yeah. I don't want to give that. No. Uh-uh. All right. He deleted 23 of them. Well, what does deleted make you think we're going to do? Subtract. Yeah. All right. Tuesday, he received some more texts. Now he has 221 text messages. How many did he receive on Tuesday? So I'm going to set this up, and this is how I want you to be solving it. So this is for the first step, you have two numbers. So I'm going to put one. This is the first step. Shh. All right, first step is to figure out what goes in the mama bond. Second step is to take that mama bond number and subtract 23. And then you're gonna take that number for step three and do that number Oh, no, you're going to do I've got it right here. I didn't mean to do that. All right, so let's just solve the problem. Xavier had 134 text messages on his phone. He received 64 new text messages on Monday. That's step one, start there. Find the mama bond number. On number two, you're doing the mama bond number minus 23. On number three, you're doing 221 minus your answer for number two. But you don't have to write all that stuff that I wrote down. You do not have to write all that stuff that I wrote down. I haven't even solved it yet. Hold on, guys. Let me see what I what I get. You think you know what it is, but you don't know, but you're not sure if you're right or not yet. Did you check your answer? What? Okay, keep your mouth shut. And I need a sentence. If you're done, give me a sentence. The question is, how many texts did he receive on Tuesday? So give me a sentence. I don't, I'm not interested in just seeing a number. I want to see a sentence.
okay, do something. I don't know why you're copying when I've said so many times not to copy what I wrote on the board. That is to help you. Okay, so take it step by step. What do you do here to figure out mama bond? You add or subtract. So what, add, what numbers are you going to add? Go do that. That's your first step. Did you do the first step? The second step is take the number you got in your mama bond and take away 23. Mama bond minus 23. And you need to start looking at problems for spelling because when I was grading your work, I had a hard time figuring out what you were trying to spell. And most of them were words that if you would have looked back in the past that you could have spelled them correctly. Okay, so take it easier on me, please. He has to redo it, Lily, so don't think that's the answer. But when you solve this, I will let you go to the restaurant. Not it. In about a minute and a half, we'll go over this together. All right, Caitlin, you have done step two now. So the last step is to take, look, three, 221 minus the answer you just got. Okay. Okay. Now this number goes here. Underneath the 221. And then you solve that. I'm done. That is not correct. Yes, Gianna. That is correct. Good job, Gianna. Yes, Patty. That is a good try, but not correct. By the time that we go over it, yeah. All right, Caitlin, I told you what you need to do next, so you need to be doing it. This was not, this is not time to write sentence yet. I told you, baby, just a second ago, that you need to take your answer and subtract it from what number? Number three. What number? Right, so 221, write it down. Hold on, I don't think Caitlin. Minus. What was your answer? It was 175. Okay, so I don't, you're doing too much slash, 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 right? You got to take it one step at a time, Rosie. So, can you do this? Slash, slash. You take it one from the two. What does it become? Take it. No, take. Are you listening? Take one from the two. 
Yes. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and go over this. That's pretty close. That's all we're trying to. But look, you shouldn't be trying to solve this without slash slashing. Yeah. Well, Piper got it. No, that's not it, June. All right, we're going to go over it now. All right. So that is very close. You did the last step correctly. Somewhere else you messed up. So come, no, come. All right, y'all, watch me solve this now. All right, so one was to fill in this mama bond. That means I'm going to do 134 plus 64. Four plus four is eight. Six plus three is nine. One plus nothing is one. So it's 198. The thing is, is if you got 197, if you got that one number off, you're going to get the whole problem wrong. So what could I do to check my answer? Does anybody remember how we do that? If it's addition, what do we have? To, please go sit down. If it's addition, what do we have to do to, to check our answer, Gianna? Subtract. subtract. So we're going to take the answer, 198, and we're going to subtract 64. So 8 minus 4 is 4. 9 minus 6 is 3. 1 minus nothing is 1. Do our numbers match up? That means 198 is the correct answer. All right, so 198 was my mama. I'm going to plug it in here. So 198, my mama, minus 23. See, that's what I wrote right here for you guys. So 8 minus 3, what does that equal? Show me everybody. Show me, show me, show me. 8 minus 3, 5. Nine minus two, show me, show me, show me. I don't know why you keep holding that up, Rose. I told you it was incorrect. Seven, good. And one minus nothing, show me. One minus nothing, yep. So answer to step two is 175. Step three. We had to take 221 and subtract our answer to step two, 175. All right, now we're gonna have to do some regrouping. So 221 minus 175. In our ones place, we have one minus five. Can we do that? Yeah, no. no, we cannot. There's more on the floor, gotta. And? All right, so we take one from the two, and that becomes a, what is the, if we take one from a two, guys, 
Yeah, thank you. And we're giving 10 to the to this one. So what's 10 plus one? 11. 11. All right, 11 minus five. 11 minus five. Well, if, if 10 minus five is five, what's 11 minus five, Gianna? Six. Six. All right, now we have one minus seven. Can we do that? No. no, there's more on the floor. Gotta go next door and get 10 more slash slash. All right, so that two, we lose one. It becomes a one. This one gets a 10. So 10 plus one is? 10 plus one is? All right, so 11 minus seven. What's 11 minus seven, Piper? Nine. Not nine. 11 minus seven. June? Four. Four. And one minus one? Yes. Zero. You guys are not really participating today. Yes. Hello. Okay. Thank you. All right, June. All right, so our final answer is 46. So how many did he receive on Tuesday? On Tuesday, Xavier received 46 messages. All right, last one. All right, Yasir went shopping with $30. He bought, so if you buy something, are you getting rid of money or do you get more? Yeah. You get more money when you buy something? What? Yeah, you get rid of money. So if he buys it, is he subtracting or adding? Subtracting. Yes, subtract. I think it was like you got more money when you bought something. I know. Let's see. He bought a book for $12 and lunch for $7. So when we see and, what do we do? Add. Add. And it's crazy because these aren't in order. We're actually going to do that first and then subtract. He found $7 in his pocket. If you find something, does it add to you or does it subtract from you? Add. It adds to you. Bye, baby. The hall buddy and the assistant. assistant hall buddy and assistant, please take June. She's going home. Yes, hall buddy. Hall buddy. All right, let's solve this problem. So Yasir started with $30. He bought a book for $12. He bought lunch for seven and he found seven. So now we have to add these baby bonds up. Seven plus seven? 14. 14 plus 12? 26. So does 26 equal 30? No. no. So how much money did he end the day with? What do you think we're going to have to do to 30 and 26 to figure out how much he had left over? Left over. Leftover is your key word. Leftover. If, if I make um, a meatloaf for dinner and I eat half of it, I have half of it left over. Subtract. So 30 minus 26, we can really just say 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, go gauge. And so the answer is four dollars so how much money did he end the day with yes ended 
the day with four dollars. Now, these are hard. These multi-step word problems are not easy. This is what you're going to have some on the test when we take our end of module test. I think judging based off of how this went today, we need to do some more tomorrow. And then we'll review for the test Thursday. And we'll take the test Friday. This Friday? Yes. This Friday. No. All right, so let me. No. 